Okay, question seven is when we start looking at actual proper calculus and derivatives. So let's just jump right into it. 7.1 says, given that f of x is equal to x squared plus 2, determine the first derivative of x or f of x from first principles. Okay, so you guys know that the definition of first principles is that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, okay? So I know some of you like to first expand on this whole thing and simplify it and then substitute into the numerator. You can feel free to do that. I'm just gonna go and substitute straight in there, okay? So know that f prime of x, you need to keep the limit until you've taken it right at the end. So f of x plus h, basically what you do is you take x plus h and every time you see an x in the original function you substitute it in there. So f of x plus h is x plus h squared plus 2 and then minus f of x we're going to have minus x squared plus 2. Okay so this all here is f of x plus h and then this is the original function, okay? And that's all over h. So we carry on. Still the limit as h tends to zero. So x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2 minus x squared. Let me just double check this. This is supposed to be a plus over here. Minus x squared minus 2 all over h. Okay. Still need to write our limit down. I know it's tedious guys but you have to follow the right notation. So x squared minus x squared gives us 0. Um, 2 minus 2 gives us 0. So we have 2xh plus h squared all over h. So guys when you're doing this kind of thing you want to try and get it so that both terms have an h so that you can divide the denominator and get that h out of the denominator. So take out a common factor of h, you get 2x plus h all over h. And now we know that h is going to divide into h to give us 1. So again, guys, still the limit as h tends to 0 of 2x plus h. And now because the h is out of the denominator, we can take the limit. So you substitute 0 into h and we get 2x. Now a way that you can check that guys is go back to your original function and apply derivative rules. Easy stuff. You know that you're going to get f prime of x is equal to 2x to the power of 2 minus 1 plus 0 times 2 which is going to give us 2x to the power of 1, which is exactly what we got from our definition. Okay, so 7.2. Now we can use our differentiation rules, which are so much simpler than using first principles. So it says, determine dy dx if y is equal to 4x cubed plus 2 over x. Okay, so first thing you do, guys, is you bring x to the numerator. So 4x cubed plus 2x to the power of negative 1. So now, dy dx, use their notation, it makes it so much simpler, it's equal to 3 times 4x to the power of 3 minus 1. Remember, you multiply by this exponent and then you subtract 1. Same as over here, plus, okay, we're going to have a negative 1 multiplied by 2x to the power of negative 1 minus 1. Okay, so we're going to get 12x to the power of 2 minus 2x to the power of negative 2. Okay, so guys, just a forward warning, even if they don't say so, try and express your answer in terms of positive exponents. So you're going to have 2x or 12x squared minus 2 over x squared. Okay, and that's going to be your first derivative. 7.2.2 says y is equal to 4 cube root of x plus 3x cubed all squared. Okay, 
So this is checking your thirds, guys. Remember, this is the same as x to the power of a third. So y is equal to 4x to the power of a third plus, okay, so now we need to expand this bracket. So 3 squared is 9 and x cubed squared is x to the power of 6. Remember, if you raise a power to the power, you times the exponents. So now we can find dy dx. Okay, say so it's equal to a third, whoopsie, a third times 4x to the third minus 1 plus 6 times 9, x to the power of 6 minus 1. Okay, and that is going to give us 4 over 3 x to the power of 1 third minus 3 thirds is negative 2 thirds plus 6 times 9 is 54 x to the power of a 5 okay and again try and keep it in terms of positive exponents so you have 3 to the x of 2 thirds plus 54 x to the 5 and if you want to get really fancy, you can write it in third format. So you have 4 over 3 cube root x squared plus 54x to the 5. Okay, so that is 7.1.